Second episode, we've learned how to do this better. As you guys can see, we've got the fucking bowl here set up. So like we said in the first episode, we're going to do, we are here totally different day, not the same day at all. It's me and Khalil here. Oh, what the heck? Right here at the Grandiloquist show. Keep in mind, totally different day, not the same yeah, day. Yeah, not the same day at all. We're not doing two episodes in one day. Yeah, bro, come on now. Like, who does that, bro? You got to be a complete weirdo to do that, bro. Like, Grandiloquent. Grandiloquent. So. Grandiloquent. Oh, Grandiloquent. Shut, shut, shut. Grand eloquent. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> you feel me? I like it like that. All right. So it was your idea. I think you should pick the first topic. Let's go. All righty. Let's go. All right. So first off, we got memories of when you lost your virginity. Oh my goodness, that's a good one right there. That's a good one right there. Memories of when you lost your. Hey, virginity. I'm glad I got that one. You feel me? <laughs> hey, that's a good one. That's hey, that good that, one. that had to have been uh, one of Chris's topics. Yeah, that's Chris's the the handwriting. So, so who's gonna go off first? Well, you picked it. Why don't you start us off? Already, already. So the first time I lost my virginity. All right. The first time, yeah. I was gonna say. I was gonna say. Huh? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You only got one time. Oh, Yo. No, no, no. But actually, you can break it down. When did you lose your head virginity? Yeah, you could have got, could have got dome a different time. All right, all right. I'll tell, I'll tell both. I'll tell both. All right, perfect. So, uh, the first time I got head. Let's get the was, juicy uh, deets. I was definitely seventh grade. Seventh mm. grade, first time I got head. I was 14 years old. I lived in a group home. And yeah, we got you, Zane. One of my group home friends, they were like, hey, man, I got these two girls. They wanna they wanna link up, so I'm like, what? Bet, bro. I'm about, bet. To, I'm about to lose my shirt, nigga. You feel me? Uh -huh. so I was like, yeah. So I was like, I was like, bet, bro. We ran away from the group home. We went to the park. The park was like an hour and thirty minute walk away, bro. I'm hour just, thirty minutes? Yeah, I walked all the way over. Homeboy there. walked an hour thirty minutes for that top. Yeah, bro. Went over there. Freaking, uh, it was only one girl. Her sister. Her sister left. Her sister didn't go because she's so like, two dudes, one one chick. Yeah, two dicks, one chick. So she this is the scenario. She, I'm painting she didn't. A she didn't want to go because she was like, "Oh, what if he's ugly or something?" You know. Yeah. And uh, so we go over there, right? And I'm with my friend, and his girl will not stop staring at me, dude. Like, oh, she giving you the eyes. She was wanting it, bro. She wanted it. Oh. So this fool, I can't believe he said this to me. Like, I would have never told the homie. I don't give. I don't care if if I pull up and uh, it's just me and my girl. Hey man, I'm sorry. You gotta you gotta go yeah. chill out. Hey, you gotta go play to basketball go. at the yeah. basketball court. You gotta go do whatever. You gotta bro. go we twiddle had... his thumbs or some shit. Yeah, bro. We had a party. You go have fun. Do what you gotta do, man. <laughs> this fool told me, "Hey man, I feel bad for you because you know uh, the girl's not here, right?" Yeah. So I was like, "All right." I was like, "True." He's like, "My girl, she wants you, dog." He's like, "So." What's up, man? You gonna tap in with her? I was like, "All right, bet." I was like, "That's like that's what we call a certified cuck." You know what I mean? Yeah. That's a certified DJ Cuckademics. Yeah. So so uh so homie left and he went he went to the bathroom. But yeah. as he goes to the bathroom, the bathroom is like it's a it's a cool walk away. It's a big park, you know. Yeah, yeah. So I unzip my pants, she started giving me some shabubop, you feel me? I'm like, ooh, <laughs> golly. This was lingo. The thing is she 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 got braces. Ooh. So it was like a chainsaw to a to a sausage link, you feel me? She shredded she shredded the sausage link and so I told her to stop. She was grounding the beef. I went home. <laughs> you feel me? I went she home. was grounding the beef. I went home and that was the first time I ever got head. It was not delightful. Not delightful <laughs> at all. Now for the got first time brace face. Now for the first time I lost my virginity, even though I was getting head and stuff in like seventh grade and stuff. I didn't lose my virginity till I was like seventeen. Yeah. So uh late bloomers. My the girl I had at the time, she was like joking around, she's all like, Oh, I'm horny, you know, what you will like you should slide through, you know. So I'm like, All right, man, I'll slide through. I'm being serious. She's like, Oh, I'm not serious about it, you know. So I'm like, Well, what are you talking about? Like, I'm serious, you know? And uh so she ends up coming over. Well no. Freaking uh how did it happen? Damn, that was so long ago. Oh, 
She's like, oh, you're not going to come over, you know. I was like, bet, I'm on my way. I took a picture of, like, a random street light on my block, you know. And she's like, oh, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me get ready, let me get ready, you know. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, all right. My foster parents had just left, uh, t- just left the town, like, the day before, you know. Yeah. And so I was like, bet. I was like, how am I going to get there, you know. It's past curfew. It's like 12 o'clock. So I call my mom on the phone, you feel me. I'm like, mom, I'm trying to go be some cheeks, you feel me. <laughs> I'm like... I'm like, uh, shout out to mom for yeah. Shout out, shout out to my mom for that. You know, she a real one. To, I was like, thanks, mom. Thanks, mom. For the money. I'm trying to be some cheese. This is my afternoon snack. She's all like, well, I know a taxi. Cheese, uh, mom. I know a taxi service. You know, so I'm like, all right, bet. So I. Oh, she got you the taxi. Yeah, she called the taxi. I paid like an Uber deal. Okay, I, pay, I see. I paid like twenty bucks to get there. Twenty bucks back. The thing is, so took, she called the taxi for you. Why didn't you call the yeah. taxi for yourself, my nigga? Uh, I think she sent me the number. Oh yeah, she sent me the number and I called him. Oh, word up! But freaking, uh, I took the taxi there. I told this is bef- this is pre Google or what? Hmm? This is pre Google. No, she had just told me like I I wasn't thinking about taking the taxi, but she had reminded me like, oh yeah, no taxi. The, oh, like taxis are a thing. Yeah, true. And so freaking like I was like, oh yeah, bet. So I, oh, true. You're in high school and shit, right? Yeah. yeah. So I called the taxi. D- can high schoolers book their own Ubers? No, it wasn't an Uber. It's a taxi. No, but I'm saying like Uber service. Like, can a high schooler book an Uber? I don't think so. I've seen something where they're talking about. Uh, it's 18 and older. Yeah, because one time I hopped in, a, I hopped in an Uber, and the guy was like, "It's like I've used Uber, but I don't know. Like, did it make me verify if I was 18 or older? I guess I you, you put in like, you put in your information like that. I don't remember. Chris uses Uber more than me. You no, know, my nigga, I got I was driving myself. Like, yeah. Exactly, you know what I'm saying? When you got a whip, you don't Uber. And the times that every time that I've tried to Uber, I'm sorry to fuck up your story here. Okay. Every time that I've tried to Uber, that shit like doesn't work for me. Like like the, trying to get home from concerts and shit like that, like it's like they're not going to that area or some shit. Like I don't know, it's weird. I don't mm-hmm. know. I've only I've seldom tried to use Uber. Yeah. I'll use a fucking public bus before I use an Uber. But all right, so you were uh, mom hooked you up with the cab service. Yeah. So you paid twenty bucks to get to her, and yeah, then what the happened? Thing is, I told the guy. I said, uh, I said, "Hey man, don't park in their parking lot. You feel me? Don't park in their uh, in their driveway." So like park so a little like, bit he, off. He's yeah. like, "I got you. I got you. You got you." This fool parks in the neighbor's driveway. Like thinking it was the thinking it was the house, you know, and I'm like, bro, what are you doing, dude? He like, said, don't park in the parking lot, and he's like, oh yeah, I got you, and then he pulls into somebody's driveway. Yeah. Oh wow, and the lights, to, the lights in the house take... go off and everything. <laughs> the fucking motion like... lights, the motion sensor lights trigger triggered triggered her lights too. Now and we like... now we've got technical difficulties over here. This oh, one, my goodness. <laughs> so all right, continue your story. But yeah. uh... So I freaking, I get in the house, I sneak through the back because her parents are asleep, and we did our thing in the in the uh, in the garage. She threw down a blanket on the floor. We did it on the concrete floor with a thin blanket, bro. I got road rash all over on, over my kneecaps. To this day, I still have scars from that incident. Oh, I think you've told me about this. Yeah, when I got home, I had to put starch on my legs and stuff to dry it up and get it healed. But it took like a week to to heal up. It took like a week to heal up, dog. Hurt so bad. (laughs) But uh, anyways, I called the taxi after I was done. And this taxi said no can help? This taxi driver pulls up at the house. Oh, wow. Even though I told him, so I was like, God, Lee, I almost So what's this me. taxi service so that people can never use it? Let's yelp it, like, on our fucking shit. I have no idea. All right. Okay. I'll embark on my stories. Yeah, we got to two it. Mine are two in one, so it'll make it a little bit shorter. Because the first time I got topped is the same time I got zzz. I, I think I remember the, you telling me the first time. Yeah, I wasn't. T- it wasn't until I was, like, a sophomore in high school. You were with your homie? I was with, uh, yep, I was with the homie, the <laughs> homie JP. We'll just say that. Like I said, mine's a two in one. Uh, it didn't happen till I was about sixteen, sophomore in high school. Uh, we were at a high school football game, and uh, we we're like, 
pretty pretty baked at the high school football game, and I remember my homeboys like uh, we we needed something from the corner store, so we left the game to go to the corner store, and then like in passing. There were these girls that uh, my homie knew. I almost said the name right there. Damn. God, there were these. There were these slippy. girls that my homie knew, and um, like he just he was just like, "What's good?" You know, like, and then he just like just grabbed her face and started making out with her right Ooh. there. It was just like, "Oh, what's good, shorty?" Like, uh, you know what I'm saying? Laid a big old one on her, right, Mister? I don't know what you heard about. Yeah. Me. <laughs> <laughs> and so like. Like, she's like, oh, shit. Like, oh, you guys going back to the game and whatnot. I was like, yeah, we going back to the game. And it was like, oh, okay. Like, we'll see you there. And then uh, it didn't happen that night. But it was the next night. I'm staying over at this fool's house, right? Mm -hmm. And, like, he made these chicks take the bus (laughs) to his house, right? They took the fucking city bus. We're talking about public transportation over Ubers. Yeah, right? Mm -hmm. Bro, straight up, these girls took the bus to get to Homeboy's house. Took from one side of LO to the other, you know? Like, like it wasn't it from LO over next to the high school to Merrillhurst, you know? Like, it's really not that far. Yeah. But, like, yeah, so they get out there, right? And we're supposed to be watching a movie with his dad, you know? Some long-ass old movie, right? From, like, the fucking 70s or so. Some, I think it was... Space Odyssey 2001 Stanley Kubrick. That's a good ass film for all my movie buffs. But uh so we're supposed to be watching this movie and we're like like these girls are on their way, right? And it's like, "Oh, we're here," right? They're there. So it's like, "Damn, uh we got to leave like we make up some excuse why we got to leave the movie, right? So we leave the movie room we run downstairs outside, right? And, like, this nigga had the, the alarm system, so every time you open the door, it's like, beep, beep, beep. You know what I'm saying? So, like, like you can leave, go, like, get the chicks, open the door, like, beep, beep, beep. But we leave the door open so, like, we don't have to do that shit again, right? Yeah. And then we we go, because the, the, the bus stop's not that far from his house. It's yeah. literally, like, you go out his backyard, and you go over, like, this yeah. little hill, and then you go down, and then you're right there in the main street. Yeah, I know. And like, about yeah, it. yeah, yeah. So like, <laughs> you literally yeah, you hop his gate. Yeah, and you get over there. No, there's no even gate. It's just a mound of like grass and like dirt right there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, so there's no back fence there. So like, we just walk over this little hill, go down, meet them there at the street, right? Then we go back over, and then we like sneak them into the house, right? And then uh, we're like, yo. We still got to go watch this movie. You know, it's still fucking like an hour left on the fucking movie. Yo, this is a long ass movie. Space Odyssey is probably like fucking three hour movie or some shit like mm-hmm. this. I, you know, um, we get them in into the into the house and uh, we're like, yo, you got to hide in the closet. <laughs> yo, so we like and Frank these beezies, right? Oh, we, we, shove them <laughs> in, we shove them in this closet and we go back and watch the movie, right? And, like, that movie could not end any, like, quicker. Like, that shit took forever. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, <laughs> we're sweating bullets. Like, you know, like, oh, these girls are going to get burnt. Like, something. Like, I don't know. It's crazy. Leave or something. Yeah, don't we know don't know what the fuck is going to happen. You know, we, all we know is we got these girls in this closet. And, yeah. So then, finally, movie's over and whatnot. We go back in the closet. But, like, his dad's obviously not sleep. It's not like, all right, movie's over. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, okay, we got it. We're, like, we got the closet door open and shit. But it's like, you know, we're like, you know. And uh, we're trying to be quiet and whatnot. And, like, we got, like, vodka and, like, grape juice or some shit. And we're sitting in there, like, drinking and whatnot. And uh, him and his little brother... They've got rooms where, like, they got a bathroom connected. Yeah, you know, no, you no, fit no. in the place. Yeah. And so, like, we're just trying to keep it, you know, like, from little homie, from knowing what's going on. But, I never, like, this nigga knows what's good, you know. Yeah. like. <laughs> and then, finally, we think the coast is clear and everything. They can come out the closet. We get out the weed, start smoking and whatnot. Hot yeah. box in the room and shit. We were dumb back in the day thinking, like... <laughs> We were just hella stupid, and then, uh, yeah, I got topped off. 
lost my virginity right there me and me, homeboy had the had a little couch in his uh room like a futon that like folds out to a bed mm-hmm. this thing was on his bed i'm on the futon and like literally, we're like high five and like, yeah, this happened, dude. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like we're, we're smacking, like yeah. high five and this shit. That shit was, yeah. I wish mom was that cool. High five and this shit, dog. That'd be sick, man. Man. Yeah, that was. Uh, instead, uh, I got we can razor. do it, man. Instead, I got. Instead, you got razor dick teeth, and then uh, I got shredded dick and uh, and, and busted knees. Yeah, busted knees. Man, skin knees and shredded <laughs> shit. At least mine was in a ritzy Merrill Hurst yeah. mansion with a nice, comfortable futon, bro. I'm pl- I'm proud of it. I I waited till I was 16 for that, and I'm proud of it. I've got a good story to tell. What's good, you guys? It's your boy Tyler TLS here. Be sure to give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and if you're feeling like it, hit that notification bell. Deuce.